present an industrial overview on two major players in the beauty industry, they are Estee Lauder and Coutinho. To start with, I will give you a statistical overview on the cosmetic industry worldwide. Skincare products make up the largest part of the cosmetic market with 35.3%. There are two major players, L'Oreal and Procter & Gamble, and the revenue of L'Oreal is 30.52 billion US dollar. The net sales worldwide is 83.1 billion US dollars. Facial skincare represents largest part of cosmetic industry with 27 percentage. Industry gross product of cosmetic industry in US is 11.97 billion. E-commerce sales of drugs, health, and beauty products is 17,026 billion US dollar, and Number of employees of US cosmetic industry is 56,235. I'll show you the net worth of some of the biggest companies in the cosmetic industry. PNG, 2.3 billion US dollar, L'Oreal, 25.8, Unilever, 16, Estee Lauder, 7.3, uh, and Kuti, 3.5. Uh, Estee Lauder, uh, it was founded in 1946 by Joseph and Estee Lauder. Headquarter is in New York, uh, Midtown Manhattan. It's known for its luxurious and high quality product. They have 27 brands under its portfolio sales through limited distributor and their employee number is 42,400. Coty, founded uh, by Francisco Coty in the year uh, 1904 at France, manufactures color, cosmetics, toiletry, skin care, personal care and fragrances. Coty uh, continues its strong performance in more than 130 countries in the world. It has 10,000 employees uh, till now. It holds number one position in the fragrance industry and number six in the global position in a uh, cosmetic industry. The financial review of Estee Lauder, their capital, uh, their total capital is uh, 32.1 billion. Their profit in 2014 was uh, 257.7 billion. Net sales rose 13% to 2.7 billion. Sales for a uh, full fiscal year rose 8% to 10.9 uh, uh, billion. Skincare uh, sales rose 14% to 1.2 billion US dollar. Makeup sales rose 12% to 1.1 billion US dollar. And fragrance sales rose 13. Point to um, 309 million US dollar. Koji Inc. First quarter profit uh, was 10.6 uh, 10 million uh, US dollar in 2015. Their revenue was 1.18 billion US dollar. Share price was 13% last year. Profit was 168 million US dollar. Fragrance sale rose by 4%. Skincare sale rose by 8%. Color cosmetic sale went down by 6%. Uh, their sales in North America last year was uh, uh, 1.06 billion. Resources of Estee Lauder, physical resources, building and Im uh, improvements. In 2014, it was uh, 256.4 million US dollar, and 2013, it was 188.8 million US dollar. Machineries and equipment. In uh, 2000, uh, 2014, it was uh, 768. US uh, point six uh, million US dollar in 2013. It was uh, six uh, forty-seven point nine million US dollar. Computer hardware and software. Uh, 2014, the net worth was uh, nine hundred and eighty point six zero million US dollar, and in 2013, it was nine hundred and forty-eight. 0.4 million US dollars. Competence of uh, Estee Lauder, functional capability, selling through more than 180 e-commerce, internal linkage, cross-functional capabilities, highly innovative product, external linkage, uh, diverse distribution. Competencies of Coty Inc, functional capability, internal linkage and functional capability, uh, research and development is a pillar of innovation. External linkage brands are complete within all key distribution channels. Resources of Coty Inc, physical resources, infrastructure and improvement. In 2014, it was 320 million US dollar and 2013, it was uh, 230.9 million US dollar. Machineries and equipments. In 2014, it was 514.60 million US dollar. In 2013, it was 491.8 million US dollar. Computer hardware and so uh, software. 2014, it was uh, 356.680 uh, million US dollar. And 2013, it was 300.3 million US dollar. Human resource, they have uh, 10,000 employees. Now I'll give you an insight on some of the industry and analytical tools. Uh, I'll explain uh, Porter's five fours. Buyer's bargaining power is very high. Customers could switch brand at no cost. Increase competition between varieties of manufacturer providing vast range of products. Supplies bargaining power is high. Chemical use of manufacturing product are rare and there are no substitutes. Competitors, top four players accounting for 51.9% of sh uh, share market. Um, new entrants. Uh, their power is low, uh, need big capital uh, invest, uh, investment in production, distribution and advertising. Selling of substitute is very high, hygiene products such as soap and body wash product, low price pr products increases the threat of uh, threat of substitute. In one of the industrial analytical tools that is pestle analysis, power 
operating in the same industry and targeting relatively similar customers at extent to have comparable products. Consequently, they face the same political factors and regulations which impact their business activities. The most important being the Cosmetic Product Safety Regulations 2008, which look at the product safety assessments, ingredients content, and very specific labeling requirements. This equally appraises the price because it is a time-consuming costly prices. By also maximizing the customer base and products demand due to transparency and quality products of items which satisfies the higher prices. The social factor differentiates between the two companies based on their products portfolio. Estee Lauder products sub-primarily distributed through department stores and 900.8 million have been spent on advertising through promotion in 2012. However, on the other hand, Coty are more easily accessible through similar and independent retailers, high store beauty shops, and drug stores. The difference from ST is explicit by Coty's flavor fragrance range, for example, which is one of their best selection and can be found in Coty comprehended opportunities to enhance have um, just include to be official distributors. The company vastly differentiates in their technological approaches. Coty invests many resources to keep on the top of the market. In October 2012, they were recognized by the Consumers Technology Group as one of the innovative products, whereas ST strives for the same technology, but lately they have been consumer communication and creating community. Both strategies are equally important. Coty will eventually gain a more competitive ease by penetrating into a more luxurious market through differentiation, whereas ST would possibly maximize by gathering a community where consumers can promote products to each other. Benchmarking is the process of identifying best practice in relation to both products including and the process of which those products are created and delivered. Both of the companies are in the top 5 list worldwide within the cosmetic industries. The types of products which ST Lauder produces are skincare, makeup fragrances, while Coty produces fragrances mostly and skincare. Coty's products average prices higher than ST Lauder but has 10 to 15 more brand than its competitors. Apart from these differences in other factors such as quality market knowledge, both the companies are succeeding in their market with brand awareness of high quality products. Fragrance industry has decreased over the past few years and because of Coty has been completely based on the market, there is a high risk of pleasing market share to its competitor strategic group. Strategic group are organization brands with the industry with similar strategic characteristics. There are many different characteristics that distinguish between strategic groups. Looking in four dimension chart with quality, price, variety and customer service, we categorize the brands regarding the most successful dimension. Most of the brands are high quality, high variety as well. Comparing the two companies, we can see within the chart the most Estee Lauder brands are higher quality than Coty's brand. Looking in the chart as a whole, we can recognize challenges and the opportunities for both companies. Industry analytical tools we have taken is the 7S McKenzie model. Encompass long-term clear strategy to uh, meet their vision statements as well as to grow and achieve sustainable and profitable growth. Uh, growth. However, more competitive activity and segmented market causes difficulty in the growth of companies as today sophisticated customers demand different types of products. Both companies having its reach to various countries provides various range of products from cosmetic skincare perfumes needless to say they can they even encompass the ability to develop produce and market their new products that channel their products to different uh, supermarket stores specialty stores and online the high end market used to be the best part of the cosmetic pie this was where the best and the most uh, to be for long beauty products were a simple symbol of luxury but now they, the majority of the buyers were the rich who were able and willing to shell out additional dollars for a bigger name with a big better credentials. But now, increase in excessive imitation of products by competitors and saturation of markets has posed a huge threat to such companies. Condition well, there are very well. There are still optimistic areas in the overall scenario. The beauty industry as a whole has increasing awareness of beauty in the society and market, and is growing up to at least seven percent a year. This growing market represents a big opportunity for these companies. Stop. The beauty product industry has a dynamic market, so companies are attitudinally capture the opportunity. 
Next to that, company should potentially re-establish a clear image, redesign its product portfolio, ad address its existing distribution networks, and introduce new lines of sub-brands that strategically can take geographical diversification into account. Similarly, both companies should center upon geographical expansion and Advertising wars with rivals will end up undermining everyone's profitability, so companies should focus on multinational products which are mainstream in the market that will strategically help develop the company. And as a, pro a prominent consideration, new product innovation regarding buyers, need, taste and preference should be taken care of. So the next industry analytical tools is a SWOT analysis. The opportunities for these companies are trend of escalating demand for environmental friendly and healthy products. Similarly, increasing online market and social networking medias, rapid emerging market of men's personal care products and emerging Asian markets are the core opportunities for these industries. While the threats are varying global economic scenario, protests against animal testing of new products, excessive imitation of products by the competitors, rising labor costs in developed countries and saturation of the markets are the major threats for this company. While talking about the strengths of the, this, uh, the internal analysis, both companies have the in industry of recognition and the, they have a very high brand value. Where why? For the ST Lauder, industry leaders are more specialized in innovation and customer service. Companies more engaged, more in a specialization in product quality, where, whereas in the quality, the operation costs are very low. While talking about the weakness, uh, the both companies share, uh, both companies have a lack of diversification with unlimited resources as a major weakness. While for the ST Lauder, unspecified target market. And similarly, since family members are the larger shareholders, which can even affect the decision-making process for the ST Lauder. Taking all these things into consideration, to describe internal and external strategical tools, we can draw a conclusion that the beauty and personal care industry generates a huge opportunity for growth uh, and develop as it itself creates a billion dollars per annum. We can see a huge potential in both companies because of industry recognition and high brand portfolio. Thank you.